Hi, welcome to Easy Living. I'm Aliyah, this is Matthew, and today we're gonna to be doing a review of the sangrias from one of our favorite Mexican restaurants, Mesita, in Rockville Center, Long Island. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with the tropical sangria, and that has Chardonnay, Contro, rum, apple juice, agave, and mango puree. Ooh, mango. Yep. So all of the, uh, this is the $10 bottle, and it comes with uh, two four ounce servings and then there's a pitcher which is for $35 and I don't know exactly how many has but it's a lot. So let's jump right into this. Smells delicious. I would say it's tropical. Is Chardonnay red wine? I'll look at that. I don't know. Taste the rum, actually. I think that's what I'm, I'm getting the rum. I think that's what that is. I taste the Chardonnay. It's good though. Sweet. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite of the three. We'll, we'll probably save the best for last. This one is pretty good. Um, it's pretty juicy. Uh, I like the rum in it. Um, I just don't really, I'm not a huge fan, I guess, like white wine. Maybe Chardonnay. You said Chardonnay is white wine. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it is for me. So I prefer a red wine sangria. You don't really taste the mango too much. I actually can't even tell that there's apple juice in here. It's a weird ingredient. I can't even like pick it out. But it's good. It's yeah. Tasty. All right. Next up, we have the peach sangria. In the peach sangria, we have rosé, cognac, orange liqueur peach schnapps, peach puree, strawberry puree, agave, and champagne. Yeah, so this one's a little uh, all over the place, actually. Look at it. I would say the widest array of ingredients out of all three. Peach schnapps, champagne, uh, rosé, cognac, pretty interesting. And definitely not your normal sangria. You so we tried all three one day, and I was convinced that this one, which is my second favorite one, had to be the tropical one. Because usually peach drinks, I just think are ass. Like peach snapple. Peach. peach snapple is ass. The, the regular one is better. But this is definitely the second best one. Might even be better than the Masita 3, honestly. I'm gonna stop this right is there. actually really good. Oh, I'm shit. Stop <laughs> this is actually really good. I taste the cognac a lot, actually. No, this is really good. I didn't say it was. I just said I taste the cognac strong. I, was... I don't necessarily get like the bubbly feeling that I got with the other one. It kind of feels a little flat, if that makes sense. I don't think it does. More juicy. It's good though. Yeah, I guess more juicy. I would say You're this right. one is the most um, exciting one or the most different from a normal sangria. This is probably the most, the one that's the most far out of sangria. It's not, it's nothing like a normal sangria at all, I would say. Got a lot going on, but it's really, really, really good. Delicious. You like that one a lot? Okay, and last but certainly not least, no. we have the Mesita Gria. On here, they just have it written as sangria. But in this, we have red wine, cognac, orange liqueur, passion fruit, passion fruit puree, strawberry puree, orange juice, pineapple juice, and agave. And as you can see, we bought the pitcher of this one. We bought the $35. This one is typically our favorite. We love it. So here we go. Yeah, this is more like a... Uh your standard red wine sangria that you're gonna get. Um, no, I mean, it's, I'm when I think that makes it sound so basic. No. But the cognac and the red wine mix so well together in here. Yeah, this is more like your, uh, this is the king of the three, but the peach, I feel like has its place. Um, when you're trying it's to coming for his neck. Yeah, when you're trying to do something a little exciting, go outside the box. But this is the standard, I would say. This is the the Masita degree is the one that you're gonna have most of the time. It's the best for most occasions. It is so good. It's just it, to me, I feel like it's just juice. I could drink this all day. It is so good. 
But you do get the, the taste of the red wine, and I prefer, I'm not a wine drinker, but I prefer a red wine over a white wine or a rosé. So you still get a little bit of that dryness from the red wine, mm -hmm. which is kind of what you're looking for in a, in a, in a red sangria. So. And obviously we're doing this from home as opposed to um, in the bar, but you know, obviously they garnish it and everything with the fruits. A great presentation. And they also have a mix of the sangria and a margarita, a frozen, frozen margarita. margarita yeah. I think it's called like the night and day. Mm -hmm. Whew, first time we went there. Yeah. I got a little messed up off that. I had to pull it away from her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to let it go. But anyway, um, absolutely delicious, sweet tart. It's great. And these are all things you could try to make at home. Actually, we did make something close to the Masita Korea at home one day. He made it, not me. Okay. Um, but, you know, you could definitely try to read the ingredients and try to remake it at home. But um, this one, you also, it is a little stronger, like wine wise, a little more alcohol strong, maybe mm -hmm. because of the, the Tennessee in here. Um, I know the peach one said it had cognac in there too, mm -hmm. I believe. But this one, you can tell it's just a little bit alcohol stronger. So, like I said, this is the, the go to. Sometimes with this one, it can possibly be a hit or miss because sometimes they change the recipe. Um, but when it's like close to the original recipe, it's bomb. Can't beat it. Amazing. Beat it. All right, so when it comes to Masita, for me, the first thing I think about is the food. Uh, we don't really do food reviews on this channel, at least not yet, but that's the number one thing I go for. Everything at Masita that I've ever had. I love, you know, they have great uh, Taco Tuesday deals. They have a great happy hour deal. And then also on Thursday nights, they have free salsa lessons. So um, the food is amazing there. The drinks are just kind of like an extra, in my opinion. It's all about the food at Masita. Um, so right now they're doing curbside pickup. The link will be in the description if you're interested. Um, you can go over there and pick up some great food. They have amazing food and you get the drinks also to go with your meal. And I just want to give a quick shout out to our favorite bartender there, Alejandra. Yeah. I've seen you on Instagram doing your thing <laughs> on the Masita page. Um, she's amazing. She's always so nice. She recognizes us every single time and always shows us love. So shout out to you. And thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for our next video. Bye. Peace.